Hello everybody, Greg Lucia here for Online Tennis Instruction. Today I'm going to talk about a common problem we see and that's where players on their ground strokes, they tend to not use their body and they end up hitting the ball with, with all arm. They end up arming it, whether it's on a forehand or on a backhand. So I'm going to show you a drill we like to use to help you to engage the body to use the kinetic chain properly. I'm also going to show you how you can use the Billie Jean King Eye Coach for your at-home training so you can work on these things so it will translate better out on the court. So let's take a look at how you should use your body. So from your ready position, you want to have a nice unit turn. So you're turning the shoulders and that's preparing the racket. From there, you're going to step forward and you're going to almost sit in a chair. That's going to help you to get that racket to drop into the slot position as you relax the arm and let the racket fall through gravity. And from there, you're going to rotate or uncoil from the ground up as you transfer the weight and you'll finish nice and tall with the weight's all the way on that front foot. All right, so let's take a look there again. Just notice how I'm using my body here and coiling. Now I'm stopping in this position, but certainly when you play, it would look something more like this, where you would hit and then you would start to recover, right? But we're going to stop in that finished position to make sure you're nice and balanced and you're fully uncoiled. So I'm going to show you a drill we like to use called the X Factor drill to help you work on this. So let me first show you the drill. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands like this on either, on either shoulder. You want to step out and turn step forward and then rotate upwards. And we're gonna work in a neutral stance. So at home, what I want you to do is follow along. So you're gonna, you're gonna hold, put your hand on the opposite shoulder, cross your arms like this. And then we wanna step out and you wanna turn your shoulders past your, your hips. So in other words, your belly belts and you wanna kinda of turn it past this leg over here. So what's happening is you, uh, cause, you, you, you uh, pre-stretching the muscles and you're storing the energy across your trunk muscles. So when you do this, you should feel a little bit of stretch through here. So just watch it again. So look at my ready position, about one and a half, time, uh, one and a half shoulders apart. We step out and then turn. My back's a little bit towards the net. Now from here, I want you to step forward in a neutral stance. And we want to strike with the heel. That ensures that you don't transfer the weight too, too early, right? So you, stri st uh, you um, strike with the heel. So almost like you're sitting in a chair, trying to keep your back straight. And you're going to rotate upwards from the ground up and you want to finish like this where your front leg is straight and you see how the back heel is facing the back fence. That ensures that your hips and core have fully rotated into the shot so you're not leaving any power onto the table. You should actually be able to almost tap your toe and you'll feel that all the weight or most of the weight is over that front leg and you're nicely balanced, right? So let's take a look at it again. Let's follow along. Hands like this. Ready? Step out. Turn your back towards the net, strike with the heel as you sit in the chair and then rotate upwards and then finish with, with most of the weight on that front leg. And you want to make sure that that back heel is facing the back fence. Let me show you that from the side. So ready over here. See how my knees are nicely bent. Okay, back is straight. So we step out, turn the shoulders past the hips. Think of my belly button turning past this leg. Strike with the heel, you see how the weight's more evenly balanced, and rotate upwards from the ground up, and get into this position. Now once again, we're holding that position, but when you, when you start to play, it will look something more like this, where you're gonna hit, and then you're gonna recover for the next shot, right? But again, we're doing that for balance, and to check the checkpoints. So ready here, step out, turn, strike with the heel, and rotate upwards. Okay, now you may be asking how did you do this for the backhand? So let me just quickly show you how you do it for the two-handed backhand as well as the one-hander. So for the two-handed backhand, it's basically just the, the same thing but just um, with the opposite side. So you have a nice ready position here. You step out, turn the shoulders more than the hips, strike with the heels, just in the chair, rotate up from the ground up, and get into this position here where most of the weight's on that Front leg, it's straight, you've lifted. And you should be able to tap that back toe and, and find your balance, right? So look at it one more time for the two-hander. Sit and lift. Now the difference here for the, the one-handed backhand is you don't want to open up too much because what'll happen is you'll cut the hitting zone short. You're gonna play from that front shoulder so you wanna stay sideways and lift from the shoulder. With the two-hander, because you're using that rear shoulder, you have to rotate through, all right? So the one-hander, the setup is very much the same. You step out, turn like this, 
Strike with the heel, but now it's like you're sitting in a chair and standing up tall, and you see how I'm staying sideways here, right? So watch it again. Turn, strike with the heel, and stand up tall this way. That ensures that you have a nice long hitting zone. You don't pull across your body where you'll miss more shots in the net or miss them wide. Okay, so that's the X Factor drill. And then what you would do is then you would add the racket. And you'll see here from my ready position, if I step out and turn, I'm really not moving my arm, I'm just turning my, my, my shoulders, and rotating a little bit of my hips, and that prepares the racket. Now as you step forward, as you sit in the chair, as your body goes down and you allow that racket to fall through gravity, the racket will drop in that slot position. See, so I'm sitting nice in the chair. Now from here, you're gonna rotate from the ground up, so the, the weight will transfer forwards and upwards to contact, and you finish this way, and you'll see how those knees and hips are nicely aligned, making sure you're fully uncoiled, all right? So watch it again here, it looks something like this. There. Now obviously if you were playing and recovering, you would do more something like this. You would hit, and then you would come back. But you wanna finish that shot before that foot comes around, right? So you can do a couple of shadow swings, so now add in the racket. What I like about the X Factor is you can isolate it and just focus on the body. Now. Now we'll bring the eye coach into play here, and this is a great device because they say on average a 3.5 level player who plays twice a week over a course of a year will hit about 12,000 shots. Now in order to make any sort of technical change to your game, like adding the body, they say it takes upwards to about 5,000 hits to, uh, for, your, for, your, for, for it to become unconscious to you, we don't have to think about it. So the eye coach, what it does, it gives your shadow swing something to hit. So you get better feedback, right? So you can start with, what we call a stationary ball. So that's where you're training the motor program without stress. So you can just kind of take your time, work through this with a unit turn, sitting in the chair, rotating upwards. And you would stop the ball like this. And the idea is you want to try to hit the ball in the center of the strings, right? So again, unit turn, see I'm stepping out, I'm sitting in the chair, rotating upwards. All right? Now the other great thing about this is that because the ball is moving like this, it's actually designed to mimic the timing of a rally. So you have about two seconds between hits. So when you hit the ball like this, it goes forward, it goes back, we count that as one. It goes forward to two, and then it goes over with this power bar at three. So if you hit on three, you're adding time pressure and you're adding the rhythm of a rally. So now you're training that motor program under stress. Now, it takes a lot of time to get in the car, set up a ball machine to get those 5,000 reps. But with the iCoach, if you do five minutes of hitting each day, over a course of five weeks, you'll get those 5,000 hits. But it's important that there is some stress added to it. So that's why that moving arm comes into the equation, right? So I'll demonstrate the moving arm. I'll do a few intermediary, um, shadows, oh, excuse me, hits with the six counts. In other words, the ball will come back over this power, bar, power line, power bar twice, right? So watch the six count here first. The key thing, I want to be moving my feet. Okay, it comes over there. So I have a little more time. And then once you can do that, then you would add the three count. And now you're really starting to train that uh, motor program or using your body correctly, using that X factor under pressure, and you, your goal is to get those 150 shots each day for five weeks, and you hit that 5,000 mark. So just watch here, moving the feet. Whoops. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. All right. And you would take breaks as needed. Because as you can see, the, the Billie Jean King Eye Coach is a great at-home training partner, which will help you get the reps you need. So your at-home training will translate more easily onto the court. And remember, do your X-Factor drills, build in the shadow swings, and if you have the Eye Coach, you can now get your reps in at home.